I think it'll make a massive difference um, because it'll give so much information. It gives so much information for people to make their own decision as to whether it's an accessible place for them to go. Um, it gives them control rather than depending on seeing somebody else seeing whether it's accessible from the, for them or not. It gives them the confidence to decide themselves. So obviously they'll enjoy their visit, be it for um, a, maybe a hospital appointment or for to come and stay in Inverness itself. I think it'll give them the confidence. Disabled people remain significantly less likely to use leisure facilities. So I think this um, website will help to address the balance for, for disabled people to come and enjoy themselves and enjoy the things that everyone else does. Well, we've tried to involve as many um, disabled people as possible because the access panel has 90% disabled people on the panel anyway. Obviously, everybody there was involved, and through Shop Mobility, um, we got some volunteers from there um, to help as well. So we tried to involve as many disabled people with as many different disabilities as possible, so that there'd be lots of different perspectives and appreciations also of um, problems that other people may have. Because they helped to do the guide, they were, didn't only focus on their own disability but focused on other people's disabilities as well. So I think it just gives everybody a fuller, gave everybody a fuller appreciation of um, the difficulties that people face doing everyday things. Yes, very much. I think it's very important that the people, that people reading the guide realise that it's not just being looked at on the on the internet um, as a lot of things are these days but that people have actually gone and seen and experienced it and I think it makes the people who work in these venues as well appreciate it a bit more um, because uh, we found that um, attitude is, all, is, a, is a big barrier to people as well as steps and all sorts of other things um, so it, it's good to not only look at the physical parts within a establishment but also the attitude that you get back from people and whether they've had disability training and things like that and and I think that if people understand that it, it gives them the confidence then to know that they can go and hopefully enjoy their stay or uh, use the facility that they're planning to.